One of the first really nice spring days of the year. Get the trailer all hooked up. Do the light check. Made much easier with modern technology. And go for the walk around. All the marker lights are working. It can be a little hard to tell sometimes with the bright sunlight. The ones on the running board are good. Bottom back corner. Upper corner. Brake lights are working. Markers, license plate light, left signal. Right signal. And the marker lights on this side. And there's one outlier. To replace it, first thing we're going to do is get rid of those lousy scotch lock connectors. Those things are basically a built-in corrosion point waiting to happen, especially with the salt and brine they put on the roads in Ontario. check the trailer wiring to make sure we do have power. Replacement lamp is supplied with its own mounting grommet, so the old one is removed and the area cleaned up. And the new light installed. Rather than reuse the scotch lock connectors, or use crimp style butt connectors, I prefer to solder the wires. Overhead soldering kind of takes me back to the days of overhead welding, with gravity not always being your friend. So with that connection soldered, time to add the heat shrink. I'll drop the second connection. All the oily residue visible on the underside of the trailer is crown rust control. It gets treated annually, again to try and keep the salt and brine at bay. One additional piece of shrink wrap put on here. And the last step will be to add one extra harness clamp, just to give it a little bit of extra support, because this is an area where a lot of snow and ice builds up in the winter time. One marker light replaced. There is a wash and polish in the future, 
but first there's going to be some work on the brake system to get it back up to speed as well.